Hello and welcome. My name is Amanda and today I have for you another empties video. So it's been a couple months since my last empties um, video and I've got a couple products, probably a lot of repeats, to show you that I've gone through um, in the past couple of months. So I've got, um, it looks like three, four different, we'll say three different categories. Um, I've got face, hair and body. So I'll start with face just because it's the smallest. Um, the first thing I have is a bottle of um, Alcon Opti-Free Pure Moist All Day Comfort uh, Contact Lens Cleaner, I think. So a couple months ago I tried the whole contact thing um, and I liked it but I thought it was quite wasteful. Um, and it didn't sell very well ethically with me just because, um, because contacts are, uh, medical equipment or, um, medical device, whatever they are, they have to be tested on animals. So I didn't feel comfortable purchasing something I didn't really need just to be a little more convenient for me. Um, that had to be tested on animals to see if they would even fit human eyes. So I tried contact lenses. Um, like I said, I like them, but then I start to think like if I traveled, um, this would take up space in my liquids bag. I would have to carry my contact lenses with me. What if I didn't bring my glasses and my contact lens like fell out and I lost it or it ripped and I didn't have a backup pair with me. Um, I just decided that uh, wearing my glasses would be the best solution and the easiest thing for me to do. And as well, um, I mean, contact lenses have to be replaced um, either daily or monthly or weekly or whatever version you get. I was um, going to get the monthly, but that's still 12 pairs of lenses that have to go in the landfill, um, the packaging can somewhat be recycled. It just, it wasn't an option for me. So I decided not to go the contact lens route. And so now I'm just wearing my glasses and I'm happy with that. So that's the first item is just some contact solution. The next thing I have are three of the same but different uh, items and they are sheet masks from Pacifica. My friend actually got these for me for my birthday. Um, and last time I flew down to Austin, I took one with me. I think I took the, which one did I take? It might've been the rose and peptide one or peptide one, or it was this stress rehab one. Um, but these are just sheet masks. Uh, they're great for moisturizing um, and just nice for like a calming evening sort of thing. I wanted to take a hydrating one with me down to Austin just because of being on the plane for four hours um, can really dry out your skin and a lot of gunk and stuff can get in them. So I wanted to relax when I landed and got to my hotel room and just put on a, a sheet mask and... Um, you know, take care of my skin that way before my week of meetings with everybody. So, um, I liked all of these a lot. So, um, this is the rose and peptide one, the stress rehab coconut and caffeine facial mask. And then I have the super green detox kale and charcoal detox facial mask. Um, I couldn't say that I liked one over any of the others. They were all really nice. Um, but I would probably go with the coconut and green tea one again, um, or this rose one, um, just because I'm seeing that this one has cilantro on it and cilantro and I don't get along. So I probably wouldn't purchase it again just because of that, which is really silly because you can't even tell when the mask is on you. But I do plan to repurchase some more of these just because they're nice for an every once in a while, um, kind of give yourself a spa treatment sort of thing. And then one more thing I want to mention before I forget, 
Um, Pacifica does have a recycling program for their packages, which I will leave linked down in the description box below, but I think that's really cool. Um, and also Pacifica is 100% cruelty free and vegan, which make shopping really, really easy if those are things you are interested in. So now to get into the hair care products, um, I'll start out with one thing. So I mentioned Pacifica because I have a lot of empties in this empties video. Um, this video is not sponsored in any way. I just really love Pacifica as a brand. Um, I love that they're 100% cruelty free and 100% vegan. Um, like I said, it makes shopping easy and um, I've just found that with my sensitive skin and scalp and everything else, their products seem to work really well for me. Um, but I've got this dry shampoo from Not Your Mother's, um, it's the Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo. And um, this is an okay dry shampoo. Um, I think it comes in multiple colors. Um, maybe not. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but this does leave a white cast, um, just like most dry shampoos do. I worked really well. Um, there's nothing wrong with it, but I just won't be repurchasing it just because um, Not Your Mother's isn't a cruelty-free brand. So I don't want to support um, any animal testing that goes into any of their products. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you're looking, I, this was a pretty inexpensive dry shampoo. So if that's what you're looking for, um, I would recommend it for that just because it's inexpensive and it works pretty well. As long as you can um, massage it in enough so that the white cast goes away. But again, I'm not going to be repurchasing just because I want to make an effort to um, move towards all of my products being cruelty free and eventually vegan as well. The next items I have are, um, I'll go with the shampoo first. So this is the Pacifica Coconut Power Strong and Long Moisturizing Shampoo. I'm pretty sure I had one of these in my last haul as well. Um, but this one is supposed to be for dry, damaged, and color treated hair. Um, I really like this. It has a really great scent to it that's not too overpowering. Um, but if you like that kind of coconut tropical smell, this is a great one to pick up. Um, this shampoo lasts me quite a while. I only wash my hair about two or three times a week. And when I do, I only put shampoo on my scalp and then I'll do conditioner just on my um, ends of my hair. So I've been really enjoying this shampoo. Um, I might see if I can find a shampoo that doesn't have packaging just so I can help to reduce a little bit of waste. But um, this is one that I definitely plan to keep on hand for when I need it. And then to kind of go hand in hand with that shampoo, I've got the Coconut uh, Power Strong and Long Moisturizing Conditioner which is for dry and damaged color treated hair as well. Um, this I go through a little slower than shampoo. Just I think most people go through conditioner a little slower than shampoo. But I also have the Coconut Superpower Deep Conditioning Damage Control Mask, um, which again is for dry, color treated, and damaged hair. Um, I was kind of alternating whenever I would condition to do this one of the times and this the other time. Um, but I wasn't really feeling like the deep conditioner was working like I needed it to. Um, so I am probably not going to repurchase this for quite some time unless I notice that my hair is getting really bad again. Um, and just stick with the conditioner because I do really like it. Um, it's nice to save a bit of money and not have extra products if you don't need them. So this is another um, item that I definitely plan to keep on hand for when I need it. And then the other hair item I have is this Pacifica Salty Waves Texture Spray. Um, it's sea algae and banana for that surfer girl vibe and it's for all hair types. Um, this is just a spray that you can put into your hair. I would do it when my hair was wet and then kind of scrunch it up and it gave 
um, not crunchy waves, but it did give texture and I really liked it. I also have this in a um, one of these type of bottles just as a cream that I like as well and I feel like the cream helps to keep my frizz down a little bit more than this did. So I don't think I would buy the spray again, but I'll probably definitely keep the um, cream on hand. All right, and then now on to body stuff. Um, since we're kind of transitioning from shower, I'm going to go ahead and pull out this, which is the last Pacifica product I have um, to share, but it's the Pacifica Coconut Milk Shave Whip which is just a really thick um, creamed shave cream. So instead of having a foam or a gel or anything, it, it is just a cream. Um, it's really moisturizing and just a little bit exfoliating. Um, I've been really liking this though for when I do shave my legs and armpits and such. Um, I've gone through actually quite a few of these and they are really, ex not really, they're pretty expensive, especially compared to shave whips and, um, not shave whips, but like the creams that, you know. So continuing on with my eczema story, I also have this empty can of, can, um, jar of Avalon Organics, uh, therapy. It's eczema relief body cream. Um, it's, uh, 1.5% colloidal oatmeal and this is cruelty free and it's also a vegan um it's just a really thick lotion that i've been using as my everyday moisturizer so um i get really dry where my bra rubs and then also my legs and my thighs get really dry um my eczema was happening on my shins and i think well, no, I don't think. I know it was because, and I'm pretty sure I said this in my last video, I had switched from a body wash that wasn't confirmed cruelty-free over to um, Dr. Bronner's, or Bronner's, I can never remember, um, and it had tea tree oil in it, which I thought was diluted enough to be okay, but it completely messed up my skin, um, and I'm still suffering from it. And it's been over six months. Um, it gave me a really bad rash on my shins. I had to go see a dermatologist. I had to get some really strong steroid cream to help clear up the rash. Um, it kind of scarred a little bit on both of my shins, but you wouldn't really notice unless you look closely. Um, so this I've been using to help kind of keep my skin as moisturized as possible because now that I've got eczema, it can come back uh, really easily. And since we're moving into the winter months, um, I'm going to keep this really close at hand. And I moisturize with it um, in the morning and most of the time in the evening, but I am still using a lower do dose of steroid cream um, just to kind of help soothe my skin and help with the itchiness. Um, but this has been really great, um, and it's, it's expensive, but not too expensive, um, but it's just a really nice, thick, creamy lotion that's been great for helping moisturize my poor body. Um, another item I have is the Schmitz Cedarwood and Juniper deodorant. Um, I have two of them, but... This is just a natural deodorant. It is cruelty free and vegan. Um, there's no aluminum in it and no artificial fragrances. And it's basically got good stuff in it. Um, and this is the first um, natural deodorant I found that actually keeps me not stinky. Um, so I love it, but it's also been really irritating my underarms, um, which I don't know, again, if it's just a combo of my eczema now, or if there's something in this that my body is not liking. I'm even currently using the, um, I think it's just lavender, or maybe it's lavender and sage, um, scented of this brand, and it's, um... Still doing the same things that the cedar wood and juniper was doing. 
so I might have to try another natural deodorant brand and see if it works um, but if I'm just gonna have issues <laughs> For the rest of my life now I'll continue purchasing this because I do really like it and it works really well and there are a lot of good fragrances with it and then the last thing I've got is just this packaging of a bar of soap that I got in a um, book box um, it is from um, story sensations on Etsy and it's just a hundred percent pure glycerin soap and it was supposed to be uh, red roses, red apples, pine, and smoke scented. But to me, it just smelled like soap. Um, it was also really drying on my skin, so I didn't even finish this. I ended up having to toss it. Um, but it's another product that I used a little bit throughout the month. But if you're interested in checking it out... I will find this shop on Etsy and link them down below if you like to support small businesses. Um, it shouldn't have been that bad of a soap because, but I think glycerin soap is drying anyway, isn't it? Um, but it's got coconut oil, sustainable palm oil, safflower seed oil, uh, glycerin, purified water, sodium hydroxide, uh, sorbitol, sorbitin oleate um which is an emulsifier and oat protein and water soluble fdnc colorant and mica um so yeah if you're interested in this i will leave the shop link down in the description below so that kind of brings us to the end of this empties video um i've gone through quite a few products a lot that i really enjoyed and um a lot that I didn't enjoy so much, didn't really agree with my body. But again, um, I am making a shift towards only owning and buying, purchasing cruelty-free, 100% cruelty-free products um, from brands that are 100% cruelty-free and working to um, also make the products I bring into my home and put on my body 100% vegan. So that's the reason some of these won't be repurchased. Um, but I think the majority of them are or have already been repurchased. So I hope this was helpful in some way um, or at least a little bit interesting. And if you have any comments of products or brands that you think I should try out for my pore sensitive dry skin, please do let me know down in the comments below and I will chat with you there until my next video. Bye!